नमस्ते एवरी वन लेटेस्ट डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव पार्ट नंबर सिक्स ऑन वर्ड्स सो पार्ट नंबर सिक्स इज वन प्लस साइन ए होल अपॉन वन माइनस साइन ए होल स्क्वायर रूट इक्वल्स टू सी कैंट ए प्लस टेन जेंट ए लेटस टेक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विच इज वन प्लस साइन ए होल अपॉन वन माइनस साइन ए होल स्क्वायर रूट सो नाउ वी हैव टू रिमूव दिस स्क्वायर रूट बाय डूइंग रैसनलाइजेशन और लेट अस सी हाउ टू डू रैसनलाइजेशन सो जस्ट चेंज द साइन ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर एंड मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड विद इट सो डिनोमिनेटर इज वन माइनस साइन ए so multiply with 1 plus sin a and divide with 1 plus sin a now let us see what will happen so numerator part will become 1 plus sin a whole square and the denominator part will be a minus b whole into a plus b which is equals to a square minus b square here a is 1 so 1 square and b is sin a so minus sin a square you can write sin square a now simplify it keep the numerator part as it is whole square root of 1 plus sin a whole square divided by the square of 1 is 1 minus sin square a then we know that 1 minus sin square a will be cos square a so write numerator part as it is and 1 minus sin square a will be cos square a so write cos square a in the denominator now we have square in both numerator and denominator you can write it as a common power so 1 plus sin a whole upon cos a whole square now square is cancelled with the square root we know that these are reciprocal of each other and divide cos a with each part of the numerator so it will become 1 upon cos a we have to write separately plus sin a we have to write separately sin a upon cos a now we know that 1 upon cos a will be secant a and plus sin a upon cos a will be tangent a which is equal to right hand side of your question now let us see part number 7 which is sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta whole upon 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta equals to tan theta now let us take left hand side you can see in numerator sin theta is common and in denominator cos theta is common so take sin theta common in numerator inside we have 1 minus 2 sin square theta whole upon then cos theta is common in denominator so inside we have 2 cos square theta minus 1 now simplify it we know that sin theta upon cos theta will be tan theta whole multiply by we are left with 1 minus 2 and sin square theta will be 1 minus cos square theta so replace it with 1 minus cos square theta 
close the brackets in denominator leave it as it is we have 2 cos square theta minus 1 now tan theta multiply by c simplify inside the brackets 1 minus 2 into 1 2 plus 2 into cos square theta 2 cos square theta whole upon 2 cos square theta minus 1 now simplify it tan theta as it is rearrange now 2 cos square theta is positive so write it first of all 2 cos square theta and 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 whole upon denominator part as it is 2 cos square theta minus 1 now it is cancelled with the second factor and we are left with tan theta only which is our required answer in same way part 8 is sin a plus cosecant a whole square plus cos a plus secant a whole square equals to 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a now take left hand side and use a plus b whole square which is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab so we have sin square a plus cosecant square a plus 2ab will be 2 sin a multiplied by cosecant a in same way cos square a plus secant square a plus 2 cos a secant a now this will be equals to let us rearrange according to our identities we know that sin square a plus cos square a equals to 1 so write sin square a plus cos square a together then cosecant square a and secant square a we have to convert according to right hand side so write them as it is first of all cosecant square a plus secant square a then cosecant a is the reciprocal of sin a so 2 into sin a into 1 upon sin a and the last part is 2 into cos a as it is and secant is the reciprocal of cos so it will be 1 upon cos a so cos a is cancelled here sin a is cancelled now replace their values sin square a plus cos square a will be 1 plus according to right hand side we have tan square a plus cot square a so cosecant square a can be written as 1 plus cot square a similarly secant square a can be written as 1 plus tan square a plus 2 ones are 2 and same plus 2 ones are 2 now add them 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 3 2 5 2 7 so 7 plus cot square a or tan square a you can write first of all according to right hand side plus cot square a in same way let us see part 9 which is cosecant a minus sin a whole multiplied by secant a minus cos a equals to 1 upon tan a plus cot a so we know that cosecant a is 1 upon sin a minus sin a upon 1 because nothing is there in the denominator 
secant a is 1 upon cos a minus cos a upon 1. Now simplify it. Take LCM. The first part after taking LCM will be 1 minus sin a into sin a sin square a whole upon the LCM is sin a. In second part the LCM is cos a then 1 1 is 1 minus cos square a. Now replace their values in the numerator 1 minus sin square a. We know it is cos square a whole upon sin a multiplied by 1 minus cos square a is sin square a whole upon cos a. So 1 cos a is cancelled and 1 sin a is cancelled. Sin a with sin a and cos a with cos a. And your simplification is sin a into cos a. Now we cannot simplify more than 8. So let us solve right hand side also. So left hand side is sin a cos a. Now we have to prove that right hand side which is 1 upon tan a plus cot a is also equals to left hand side. So 1 upon tan a can be written as sin a upon cos a plus cot a can be written as cos a upon sin a. Now take LCM in the denominator part. So 1 as it is the LCM will be sin a cos a or you can say cos a sin a product of denominators and numerator will be sin square a cross multiply them plus cos square a. Now take the reciprocal of the denominator and it will become 1 multiplied by sin a cos a will go in the numerator and we know that sin square a plus cos square is also equal to 1. So replace its value this is equal to 1. Now simplify it and your solution will be equals to sin a cos a which is equals to left hand side. Now let us see the last part which is 1 plus tan square a whole upon 1 plus cot square a equals to 1 minus tan a whole upon 1 minus cot a whole square equals to tan square a. So first of all we have to take the first part and we have to prove it equals to tan square a. So first part is 1 plus tan square a whole upon 1 plus cot square a is the reciprocal of tangent so it can be written as 1 upon tan square a. Now take LCM in the denominator numerator part as it is whole upon the LCM is tan square a and tan square a into 1 will be tan square a plus 1. We know that addition is commutative. So first of all we have to take reciprocal. Now 1 plus tan square a as it is. Take reciprocal of the denominator to take in multiplication. So tan square a and rearrange it into 1 plus tan square a. Now first factor of numerator will be cancelled with the denominator. So your solution will be tan square a which is equals to right hand side. Now middle part is homework for you. Thank you and keep smiling.